everybody has one. <clears throat> Standards require that we communicate with those in charge of governance, which is you, at or near the conclusion of the audit. And this is the purpose of this correspondence. And it's dated December 28, 2012, which happens to be correspond to the date of the audit report. And the professional standards also require that we communicate to you some of the following information related to our audit that you will find in this report. And I'm just going to highlight a few things in here. Uh, first of all, significant audit findings. And there, we found there were no new accounting policies that were adopted and the application of existing policies was not changed during the fiscal year. We noted no transactions entered into by the government unit during the year for which where there's a lack of authoritative guidance or consensus. <coughs> All significant transactions have been recognized in the financial statements in the proper period. As well, we did not note any significant accounting practices that were, we considered to be inappropriate. We did not notice any unusual transactions. There were no significant estimates identified during the audit. Or no sensitive disclosures existed for the year ending June 30, 2012. Difficulties encountered in performing the audit Encountered, encountered no significant difficulties and I might take the time to compliment the staff and Sherry and everybody that's associated with getting this. I know this is a highly, highly people just oversight is there and they have, if it ain't us asking for something, it's somebody at the state level wanting to look at something, it's somebody at the federal level wanting to look at something, but they provided stuff timely in an accurate manner <clears throat> and very professional and uh, they should be commended for that. They're, they're great to work with and make, it, make our job easier, let's put it like that. Moving on, corrected and uncorrected misstatements. Uh, there were no such corrected or uncorrected misstatements identified. Disagreements with management. She probably wanted to pull our hair out a couple of times, but we're pleased to report that no such disagreements arose during the course of the audits. Uh, management representations, which is like, a say, a comfort letter that was provided at the end of the audit by the Board of Health to us. Uh, management consultations with other independent accountants. It's like getting a second opinion from somebody else <coughs> or another accounting firm, and uh, we were not aware of that happening. And on the back, other findings or issues, and I, there were none. Uh, this time, I've kind of went through this kind of fast, but I, that's just the high points of it, and uh, that's what I think is important, and I would like to open the floor if there's any questions or Mr. Sally has anything to add at this time. 